So now let's see how to use the brush tool inside of Toon Boom. So let's understand first the difference between the pencil and the brush tool. So if I were to take a pencil tool right over here and draw something, you can see that there's a stroke in between. To see the stroke, you have to press K on your keyboard. So now I'm going to take the brush tool and over here, let us take a solid brush, increase the size of the brush and drag it out. And you can see that there's is there's the stroke outside over here on the brush tool. So on this, it's inside while on this, it's outside. So that is the major difference right here. So, it, so brush tool is more like a shape. So as you go into the brush tool, uh, brush tool, you can see that you can select different type of textures right over here. So more options are actually provided right over here in case of textures and everything else. Now let's just go over here. Now let's start with a simple solid brush tool uh, preset right over here. And let me just draw this out. To get more options, you can actually go over here and find the vector brush properties right over there. So on the vector brush properties, you can see the tip right now. It's a circle. You can go for diamond. So you get the diamond tip right there. And you can work around with the maximum and minimum size from right over here for press the center dip pen. You can have a roundest type of angle or a straight type of angle, depending on what you want, as you can see. And you can also adjust, adjust its roundness just like that. And that is how it actually uh, uh, comes up. The pen tilt sensitivity is for if you're using uh, a tablet with a sensitive uh, pen right there, sensitive, um, press a sensitive tablet. You can also work around with the hardness and everything else, but right now it's disabled for this type of brush. You can select different type of brush like textured brush right over here as well. And for this, you get all the options right here. So let's say you want this type of a brush. You can actually click and drag and you can see that this is the tip of the brush now. And that's shaped like a star right over here. You can decrease its hardness right over here, which decreases the hardness, the intensity of the pressure right here. And you can increase the spacing right here. And that is how the brush will actually be like when you increase the spacing. You can also uh, add in something like a random size so you can see that the size is random along the brush and also random angle that gives a random angle to the brush as you can see. It is more uh, visible with this. So if I were to do this and I'm going to decrease the uh, hardness, I, I mean increase the hardness and you can see that the randomness of the square is there just like that. And you can also have random spacing. So you can see that there's random spacing on the brush right over here. Let me just delete all of these right here and go back onto the properties again. So there's no properties. Let me go back to brush and there you go. You got the properties. So besides this, what you can do is you can actually make anything you want just like this. So a lot of options. You can even add in your textures, which you're going to see in the next lesson. Also, there's a smoothing option right here so you can actually smooth it out after you draw it so if you have maximum level of center line and contour you can see that it smooths out your drawing as well just like you would uh, do in pencil tool you can work around with the uh, transparency as well so maximum flow is 100 if you were to decrease it then the flow is smaller and transparency is less as you can see right there you can also work around with the minimum and maximum flow right here for minimum amount of transparency and maximum, depending on the level of pressure sensitivity you apply to pressure sensitive tablet. Also, there's the maximum and minimum opacity over here. Also, you can choose whether to anti-aliasize alias is to smoothen out or not. So you can see that there's no anti-aliasing. Everything is quite sharp over here. But if you had to turn on anti-aliasing, you can see that it is much more softer. So you have that option as well. You can also have a random type of a flow right here. So bigger, smaller, and you can also have random opacity right here, just like this. So sometimes opacity is high, sometimes it's low. So that is the option which is given to you. Another thing you can actually enable here in uh, brush tool is dual tip. So this is your first tip. As you can see, this is the first tip. In the dual tip, you can select another tip, something like a star. And if you were to draw it, you'll be able to see that there's a bit of a star right there as well. So let me just increase the size and you'll be able to see that there's a bit of a star like section going on right over here. So it actually blends in the type of things. So let me just uh, 
get it a maximum flow and you can see that this is what a combination of tips actually do so you can have multiple types of tips just like that and now you can see that there's multiple type of tips so the checkerboard tip is on so if i were to actually draw out you can see that this is what happens it actually combines the first tip along with this tip right here and you can start seeing the patterns right over there also for the dual tip you can choose the blending mode so there's the color doors as you can see and we learn more about blending mode later on color doors is when it darkens as you can see and multiply is when it actually adds in more color as in and combine is when both of the brushes are combined just like this to create something like a combined pattern of both tips so maybe this is something what you're looking at i'm just going to stick with multiply i'm going to delete all of this because it's starting to get crowded again so i'm going to go back onto the dual tip so there's roundness and angle hardness spacing as you would get on the tip itself so it's just simply that another thing you can choose is the paper texture so again you can add in your own if you want to but in my case i'm just going to go over here and choose one so Paper texture, I'm just going to enable this out. So let's say this is the pe paper texture you want. So once you choose that, if I were to draw it, that paper texture is seen. But to actually be clear, I'm going to turn off the dual tip and I'm going to go for a simple drawing over here. So let me just go over to the simple drawing and you can see that the texture of the paper is actually here. If I were to turn off the te paper texture, you can see that it is quite plain. But if I were to turn on the paper texture, you can see Okay, let me just turn on the paper texture. You can see that this is what happens. You get the texture as well. So you can actually go over here, choose any of the texture you like, and that texture will appear in the drawing just like this. So just like that, you can go over here. This is one of the custom texture actually uh, brought out as well. So you can even bring in custom textures, draw out, and textures are drawn accordingly. So no matter which tip you select, so let's say you have this tip, it is drawn on to the same texture as you can see. So as I draw out more, you start seeing the same texture over there, just like that. So that is what you can do with paper texture and the vector brush settings. So that's how you work with vector brush properties and the brush tool inside of uh, Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.